During the grand launch held at Volcano Hotel in Rwanda Town Council, change agents representing diverse communities expressed optimism in efforts geared towards community involvement in solving their own challenges. There is a challenge we face as change agents. We call for meetings to come up with solutions to people's problems. All they ask is if we have facilitation for them. David Mugurusi, the senior programs officer for Tuaweza, underscored the overarching objective of the initiative, which is to cultivate unity between authorities, leaders and citizens with their communities. By imparting knowledge and skills to address local issues, the initiative aims to reduce dependency on the government for solutions. Mugurusi confidently asserted that the research project will nurture a harmonious relationship between leaders and community members, creating an environment conducive to effective problem solving. Communities need to know that there are issues they can address on their own, right? And there are those that they cannot be able to address and they will seek the support of the, of the leaders. The executive director of LADA, Arthur Mbawazi, shed a light on the extensive scope of the project spanning five districts including Rubanda, Kamuli, Kole, Chinjojo and Namutamba. The primary focus of the initiative is to enhance citizens' rights to access information within these communities. Eric Sewandigi, the Deputy Resident District Commissioner of Rwanda District, expressed unwavering support for the participatory action research concept within the district. Recognizing its potential to foster collaboration between stakeholders, including leaders and communities, Sewandigi pledged to integrate the project into their working methods. They started uh, research and their presentation today is very really promising for the for improvement of service delivery. We know now, our people should know that our offices, our offices at the office of the RDC is permanently open. We have started uh, today, the whole of last week, we have been doing barazas, interacting with the community members to get to know their challenges and to improve the service delivery at the district. Sewandigi also addressed the presence of non government organizations operating with the district without proper registration. I requested in one week back, I requested the DCDO to avail me with all NGOs operating in Rwanda. And we want to start accessing where they are physically, physically where they sit, where they are starting from. Do they have offices in place? What, imp what, what impact have they done for the last one year? Because we know these organizations come in, but they have funders. And this money comes with the names of Rwanda. So we don't want any organization to come work under Rwanda with the funds from any other source and they don't implement the intended activities. So the, the report already they have, when you look into the list, we have over, almost over 50 NGOs operating in this district. According to research, Rwanda district is grappling with a crisis on its roads as deteriorating infrastructure plagues the region with potholes and drainage issues. Over 50% of the residents expressed dissatisfaction with roads conditions, while 38% reported worsening road infrastructure. Adding to the woods, the situation is further exasperated by frequent landslides leaving communities isolated and cut off from vital resources. This is Church of Uganda, Family TV.